What's up, Raider Nation? Sesh Media Productions. I'll be Frank. You be you. So here we are going into the last preseason game. It's Monday. We had some cuts and we had some people that we brought in to see if we can work them out to replace some of the linebackers that we lost uh, during the week prior. Most notably, uh, Javen White has been, uh, you know, diagnosed with a knee problem. I haven't heard if it's, um, uh, what do you, MCL, ACL? I haven't heard any of that part yet, but like I said, I was there at the game. I seen the replays, all that other good stuff, which is actually bad stuff because this man is out. We got to find somebody to replace him. So... Bringing in Mark Barron for uh, a little workout to see if he could be viable option for us coming. Because very soon here, very, very soon, week one will be upon us. And we will need to have linebackers that can cover side to side and actually make a hit and some tackles because uh, Lamar Jackson is not a joke. I don't know if you've noticed this already uh, for anybody else that's out there, maybe not even a Raiders fan or whatever, just a fan of football in general. If you don't know, uh, he's a pretty good uh, athlete and you need to contain him because if you don't, it's going to be a long day and it'll probably end up an L for you. So uh, there were cuts uh, on, our t on our side as far as... Um, uh, defense and offense actually uh, Rasul Douglas was uh, a player that got cut uh, if you had watched him over the last two preseason games you would see exactly why he got cut he just never seemed to be in the right place uh, he did make a play here and there but uh, they're looking for some consistency especially for someone that's going to be backing up the main dudes and obviously he didn't cut it <laughs> So they cut it, and uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Uh, they also let uh, a lineman go, Omea. Forgive me if I don't know your first name right this second. Did you see the cloud? Anyway, um, yeah, he's gone, and I'm really surprised that uh, if you've watched any of my videos at all, uh, up until this point, I've mentioned, especially during these preseason games, that Jones Smith, I forget his first name, and I'm just going to keep forgetting his first name because he's been buns. I mean, absolute buns getting mushed and pushed around. You're so fucking big. How could you be that big? And I don't understand. Better after than me. I've said this a million times. Like, hey, you're better than me, dog. I'm comparing you to your contemporaries. I'm comparing you to the people that share the same sport as you're trying to con uh, get down with. So comparatively to them, you're buns. And that's just, that's just this, you know, that's it. There's no more getting around that. I don't know how you're still on the team. Joan Smith, if you ever watch this, or someone that knows him that's watching this, can you please send this to him and ask him how, why you so buns? But, um, why you trash? But, uh, yeah, so there's some other little quick news I wanted to bring about. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. All the Raider Nation has uh, felt some type of way about the subject in hand. And I'm talking about Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, uh, there was a little por uh, report put out by uh, Vic Tafer, if that's his la how you say his last name, Vic V-I-C. He does a lot of reporting for the Raiders, if you don't already know. And um, he said that uh, a credible source came to him and wanted to divulge some information talking about how we, during this last offseason, before acquiring Ngakwe, we wanted to go trade for Mac. I don't see why in the world we would want to do that in the first place or all of a sudden this information needs to come out. Why wouldn't that just come out before we even did anything? Why wouldn't it come out right then? 
uh it makes it less credible in my eyes i don't believe we would ever go back for mac i would probably be like end of his career he's in the twilight and then if he wants to be a raider then cool we'll probably get him that way i don't see us trading for him he didn't want to be a raider if anybody remembers back in the day it was a few years ago <laughs> back in the day uh jay glazer reported that mac did not want to work with gruden he did not want to be coached by him what the exact reason was for that he, i don't remember if he said but in my mind i remember or i thought to myself maybe it was the jack del rio thing right i mean he, he liked them he had one of his best seasons under jack del rio so why wouldn't he want him still to be around a coach he's a defensive minded coach uh i do i think we had ken norton jr at that time as well um just it just makes sense that uh it would be that way he would have that to me he would have that train of thought so why would we want to pick up somebody that doesn't even want to be with the raiders because john gruden i don't know if anybody's noticed he's not going anywhere he's not going anywhere he's got a 10-year contract my bet, my safe bet, you want to put money on it, I'm saying he's going to go at least those 10. I mean, he would have to flop for the next two years straight, like like four wins, two wins. If he did that back-to-back, -back, yeah, he's gone, but he's not. I don't think anybody who's a Raider fan would really consider us doing that and or having that happen unless we just had, you know, not by his coaching. It would just be, we would have to be decimated by injuries and things of that nature just just there's just no way the, the 10th and uh overall offense uh last season and i just don't see us getting any worse we got better pieces now we got pieces that we've had that were good that are going to be even better because now they have more experience josh jacobs rugs just to be uh, more specific on what i mean by that and uh i just i just think that's how it would go you know i i, I don't i don't think uh, Gruden's going anywhere. So why would we want Mac? That was just my little quick rant on that. Nothing against Mac, of course. And when he finally goes in the Hall of Fame, it'll it'll have to be noted, and it's already in the books as he was a Raider first, and most of his best accomplishments accomplishments came with us. So unless he wins the Super Bowl, but I doubt he will. The Bears are terrible. The Bears are gonna be terrible. Uh, Justin Fields, by the time he's around, he gets you know the game down to where he's one of those quarterbacks Mac will be he'll be done I don't want to say he's washed but he'll be washed up but he'll just be done and he won't be able to get the money that he wants and I could just foresee it not happening sorry love you Mac just don't care that you're gone now so it is what it is on that yeah as far as uh to just recap as far as bringing in um Mark Barron to cover up and see if he could step in for the depleted, like overnight, it seems, linebacker crew. Uh, hopefully, it works out. And I'm really sad that you know Javen's out. Anybody that's watched any of the videos or talked to me you, in, about Raiders, you'll know that I was one of those dudes. I was, I was harping on him. I, I mean, I was, I was not harping, but I was wanting this man to succeed. I was wanting this young man to be out there on the field. It's unfortunate he won't be able to. Hopefully, Nicholas Morrow, the other linebacker that has a foot issue, um, who's not going to be playing this weekend and might not even play week one. As far as I heard, ear to the streets, there is no timetable. So, um, that sucks. And we need all the help we can get everywhere across the NFL. It's like that, but fuck them. It's all about the Raiders. Speaking about the Raiders, if you like the Raiders and you like this video, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate you. I love you, nation. Until next time.